it's Wednesday and it's time for our weekly devotion and prayer. Yes po, tuloy po tayo, balik zoom nga lang, but it's an opportunity once again for us na manalangin. You know, from where I am, dito sa office, mag- nadidinig ko po na pumapatak na yung ulan at medyo lumalakas at nadidinig ko rin po yung, mga, yung hangin na naghahaul na. Well, it's signal number three, but whether signal one, two, or three, ang katotohanan nun is that we have a God who knows where we are. But of course, we are we are here to commit all this to the Lord who knows our needs. Um, tonight is a very special night kasi mapapanalangin po natin ang ating mga kapatid ang nasa Bicol at ganun din sa, you know, we need to pray for those people along the coastlines na maaring daanan ni Christine and magla-landfall po siya mamaya sa Nueva Vizcaya. And this is a good time for us to be comforted that we have the God, we worship a God who knows where we are and that is why sabi nga ni David dito sa well the it's a it's a psalm of the psalms, sons of Korah sabi niya sa psalm 46 god is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble therefore we will not fear though the earth gives way though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea through its waters roar and foam Though the mountains tremble at its swelling. Yes, we have a God who knows and a God who makes wonders and a God who comforts and a God who embraces us. Mga kapatid, alam ko yung iba pa uwi pa lang, but tawagin niyo na po ang mga kapamilya ninyo, mga kapatid ninyo. Let, let's all come together. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for you are the God who loves us. And it's a rainy night. It's a stormy night. But in you, when we know that you are in the center of our lives, Lord, that is the eye of our storm, wherein everything becomes so still. And at the end of it all, sabi nga ng psalmist, be, sabi mo nga, be, be still and know that I am God and I will be exalted among the nations. Lord, be exalted tonight as we come before you, stilling our hearts stilling our minds, casting away all anxieties and fears to the God who knows and can make a way for us. Be exalted tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Strong and mighty focus, raise your voice now. No love is greater. Who can stand against us if our God is for us? Even when I stumble, even when I fall, even when I turn back, still your love is sure. You will not abandon, you will not forsake, you will cheer me. i 
Good evening. Um, I trust that everyone is uh, safe and dry this time. Kasi alam natin yung difficulty sa labas. Uh, maraming binabaha. And uh, may iba na, walang kuryente ngayon. But I'm sure that God would uh, pull us through. Now for this evening, uh, we would be discussing a topic that is uh, dear to me. Um, when I was still a small child, I have this friend who would bring me uh, to his house. Pero yung bahay nila, doon sa port ng Davao, and it, it, it is stuck on a, in, on a small lot where houses are cramped and right beside each other. Indeed, a squatter's area is not the ideal and the decent place to live. The small space, mga around 20 square meters, doon nagsisiksik yung family, uh, the, the mom and the dad, and also mga around seven of their siblings nakasama doon. So when I was there, my friend casually told me that they had target for breakfast uh, for those millennials at those who are not younger than me. During my age, when I was still small, um, Target is a brand of premium corned beef. Uh, medyo mahal tong, yung, yung corned beef na to. Uh, for this time siguro, we could say that this is uh, yung katulad na Pure Foods or no Swift. Uh, medyo expensive. And I was surprised. Uh, how come they were able to afford uh, Target na corned beef knowing na ganun yung economic situation nila? Then my friend uh, told me, ah, yung Target, ganito yan. Uh, you get a saucer and you put salt there. Then you raise your finger like this and you target the salt. Then you put the salt in the rice. Pagkatapos, kakainian nilang ganun, na diretso. Salt and rice for a meal? Is this proper nutrition? For a growing child like my friend during that time, is it the proper thing that he should be eating in order to grow up properly? Let's look at the bigger picture. Looking at poverty, should things be always be like this? Is it a proper way to start and raise a family? Is it the proper way to live? Tanggapin lang ba natin that this is just part of life? Ganun naman talaga. Wala tayong magagawa dyan. What in, in, in situations like this, what do they evoke on us? And as Christians, how should we see this? And how should we respond? According to government statistics, because the, the Philippine Statistical Authority did a study last 2023, and they said that the poverty incidence natin is 15.5%, uh, so which means the around 15.5% are not meeting the, the, the poverty threshold. And do you know how to define yung property threshold? A property threshold is defined as a, a family of five having an income of 13,873 pesos. And this amount should be enough to meet their food, their basic food and non-food needs. Personally for me, uh, I could imagine how a family of five would be able to uh, survive on a 13,800 budget per month. So for me, the number should be more widespread than what is the number here. And for us, uh, hindi na iba sa atin to. When we would just drive around the metro or during Sundays on our way going to church, definitely, I think most of us, would be able to pass by these kinds of communities and be able to see for ourselves their situation. So this evening, I would like to explore two profound themes uh, that resonate deeply within our fabric as followers of Christ, which is Christ's love and our response to poverty. As we explore these things, I would draw from two key passages. John 3, 16 to 17, and Genesis 1, 26 to 27. Um, for, for, for 
John 3:16 to 17 this is an often used uh, uh, passage from the Bible and it says for God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life for God did not send his son into the world God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world but rather in order that the world might be saved through him this passage speaks to the very heart of God's love a love that is sacrificial unconditional and redemptive the essence of this love is seen in God's willingness to give up his son for our sake it is a love that reaches into the depths of our struggles to uplift and save us and because of this great love for us we now in turn have the great capacity to love others but this love also carries a profound responsibility a call to respond to the needs of those around us now consider the implications of christ love in the context of poverty poverty isn't just a lack of material wealth but it starts from there right it is a state that affects one's dignity hope and future christ's mission on earth was deeply intertwined with those who are marginalized suffering and in need he spent time with the outcasts those rejected by the society the sick the poor demonstrating that his love is inclusive reaches all and especially those of the most vulnerable in matthew 25:40 jesus teaches us truly i say to you as you did to one of the least of these my brothers you did to me here jesus identifies himself with the poor and the marginalized he reminds us that in serving others especially those in need we are serving him this powerful message calls us to action urging us to examine our lives and our response to those who suffer let's now turn to genesis 1:26 27 then god said let us make man into our image and likeness so god created man in his image in the image of god he created them male and female he created them the passage highlights the dignity and the value of each person each individual is created to the in the image of god which means that regardless of socio economic status everyone deserves respect love and care while we recognize that we are all made in god's image it compels us to respond to poverty not with judgment and with compassion and the desire for growth, uh, for ana uh, to uplift our fellow men and also in this passage it says man is given dominion over creation and it is our responsibility also to respond to creation creation could encompass a lot of things like uh, like uh, yung kalikasan or nature but it could also encompass our friends the people who are in need so we are to exercise our dominion of being able to exercise our help over these people who are in need the problem over the past years is that man used his dominion over creation for greed sin crept into uh, his life and sin now governs uh, the things that he does so instead of exercising love over dominion over his brothers greed and selfishness now takes over and we could see that poverty is an effect of this as followers of christ we are called to mirror his love in tangible ways to be salt and light 
of the world. This love cannot remain abstract. It must translate into action. We must ask ourselves, how can we embody God's love in these communities? How could we advocate for those who are struggling? Most, one of the most effective ways of living out this calling is through service. This could, make, this could involve volunteering in outreaches, participating in feeding programs, or supporting organizations that work to alleviate poverty. Each act of kindness, no matter how small, contributes to the larger movement of love and support. However, addressing poverty goes beyond just direct service. It also involves advocacy. It is essential to challenge the systems that perpetuate inequality, the systems that perpetuate sin, selfishness, and greed, and to advocate for policies that promote justice and compassion. God's love empowers us to stand for those voices that are often silenced, to push for change that reflects the values of love and dignity that God instilled in us. It is good that our church, GCF South Metro, is already in the space. We have programs to help address poverty. In T.S. Cruz, a community just near our church, we are supporting daily feedings of the underprivileged children. We also have a weekend, uh, some feeding over the weekend in the BSO or the Bible study outreach. In Bakoor, we are supporting an after-school tutorial program to help students in their academic uh, uh, stu- in, in, in their academics. And in Balabak Island, this is a small island just off the southern coast of Palawan. Malayo, no? We are working with a missionary couple on their desire to put up a dormitory for Muslim college students. Of course, no? we all recognize that working with students and children is indeed a slow burn effort. All of these are long term with no instant uh, abrupt results that we would see. But our prayer is that through all our efforts in the feeding program, in the after uh, school academic tutorials, though they may seem small, this would help these young people get out of the cycle of poverty and be able to live fuller lives. And the best thing about these programs is our ability to evangelize and disciple the children. Moreover, we must cultivate a mindset of generosity. Love is not merely a feeling about feeling compassion. It is about willing to share what we have. This could be sharing our resources, our time, our talents with those who are less fortunate. In the world, that often values wealth and status and success, we are called to counter that narrative by prioritizing love, community, and support. In my own experience, I have seen transport, the transform, transformative power of love in action. I recall volunteering in medical mission and on a disaster relief effort where I met individuals facing unimaginable hardships. What struck me was not just the need, their need, but their resilience and hope. It reminded me in Christ's eyes, every person holds immeasurable worth. Each story shared, each connection made, reinforced the truth that we are called to be agents of love in a world that often feels broken. As we reflect on Christ's love and the reality of poverty, let us remember that our faith is not just a personal journey. It is a communal one. It's with others also. We don't walk alone. We walk beside a lot of people. We are called to walk alongside each other 
to lift each other up and be advocates for love in action. In conclusion, let us embrace the profound love of Christ as our guiding light. May we recognize the dignity of every person created in God's image and respond to poverty with compassion and action. Together, let's create a world where Christ's love is reflected in our care for one another, where every individual is valued and supported. Remember that rice and salt story? I pray that with our concerted efforts, by being united in this action, um, we would allow the least of our brothers to have more in life. Lord, we'd like to thank you for this evening and may we continue to reflect your love and your compassion expressed uh, through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The greatest love that anyone could ever know that overcame the cross and grave to find my soul until i see you face to face and grace amazing takes me home i'll trust in you with all i am i live to see your kingdom in my heart, I pray you'd let your will be done. Until I see you face to face, and grace amazing takes me home, I'll trust in you. A 
child in all of you. Trust in you. Lord, we'd like to thank you for this evening, for this time to be gathered together, dear Lord in spite of the situation outside. Uh, you're the God who is con in control. Thank you, dear Lord, on your word for us uh, this evening. Your word that challenges us to see things from your perspective, using the lens of your eyes, dear Lord, to see. Lord, we could see that poverty, uh, the difficulty in life, is all over for us, dear Lord, all over the place. Lord, uh, the Philippines is a third world country and poverty and uh, economic difficulties are our primary source of, uh, of challenges here in the Philippines. So we pray, dear Lord, that you would be with us to be able to see uh, your people, dear Lord, as you see it. We pray, dear Lord, that you would allow us to see what's happening outside, to be able to see the people, interact with them, and commune with them, dear Lord, communicate with them in order to see their situation and be able to understand them better, dear Lord. I pray that you would work in our hearts, dear Lord, to stir up um, our minds and our hearts on this situation to be able to prod us to move, dear Lord. Stay within our hearts, dear Lord, that desire, that compassion and love that we have talked about earlier. Stay in us, dear Lord, that desire to be able to make difference in their lives, dear Lord. Knowing that poverty and uh, difficulty, dear Lord, is caused by sin and not part of your plan. And we pray, dear Lord, that you would give us that wisdom on how we would be able to make a difference in the lives of these people, dear Lord. Give us that desire to change, dear Lord, to be able to make a difference in their lives, to be able to reach out to the children, dear Lord, the students, the people in the streets, so that we would be able to help them take out in the cycle of poverty. Dear Lord, we'd like to thank you that we have given us this opportunity on the partners that we have in Pechayan, in T.S. Cruz, in the island of Balaba, and in many places in the Philippines, dear Lord, where you allowed us to be able to uh, minister to these people. So, dear Lord, we just pray that you'll continue to be with us as we continue to ruminate in your word, dear Lord, 
and be able to see how could we be salt and light to these people. Be with us, dear Lord, as we continue to reflect on your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, dear God, that because of your great love, pinuturuan mo rin kami, Panginoon, ikong magmahal sa aming God. Lord, right now, we would like to lift up to you those who are suffering from the effects and impact of Typhoon Christine. We remember the peak people in the Beagle region. Lord, we pray for your mighty hand to cover them. Allow help to come in. Allow the waters to recede so that areas that are impassable may be passable so that help can come in, Panginoon. We pray for those who are trapped in their homes for the past two days. I pray that they are still warm, Panginoon. I pray that there is enough food for them. Yes, Lord. They may be able to withstand two days of being incommunicado with the world. Panginoon, show them your glory. Show them who you are, the God who is good and the God who is great. Lord, at this time, some of us may be anxious. Lord, comfort our hearts. Comfort the hearts of the elderly and embrace, Lord, the sick, that we may be well. Panginoon, we also pray that our National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council will have proper response to the needs of the regions affected. May this be a time to show solidarity and love for everyone. May we all be agents of love, goodness, compassion, and kindness at this very hour of need. And all we need to do is to extend a hand to those who need help. Ito na po yung pagkakataong magkakaisa kaming muli. Ito yung pagkakataong wala kaming titignan kung kakilala. Mm-hmm. Ang mahalaga, Panginoon, is that teach us to reach out. Allow us to give. Mm-hmm. Allow us to show that great love that you have been showering us. And may the Holy Spirit of God touch the hearts and the minds of every Filipino to seek the good and the well-being and the safety of everyone, especially in this time of need. Lord, we pray for the LG to provide ample and relief efforts to save lives and property, wisdom, strength, and safety also for our rescue and relief workers as well in this time of calamity. And Panginoon, as Christine moves forward, we ask our dear God, dear God, for your divine intervention. Lord, you know all things and all things are possible with you. You are the God who can stop all this. We pray for your divine protection, your divine favor, as we go through this challenging time. And as we go through this as a nation, we know that you hold us in the palm of your hand. Mm-hmm. And we know at the end of it all, we will see Jesus. We will see the love of Jesus made manifest. And may we all hold on to the grace that only comes from you. And the grace that we enjoy and we receive the grace that we receive to others, especially those who need help. Allow us to have eyes of faith instead of fear. And may we be united to bring goodwill and good cheer to those who have lost lives and property. Father, in the midst of these challenges, have mercy on us. May we continue to look up to you for all things at all times. Teach us to trust in your unfailing love and ending grace for your love and the world forever. Lord, at this point of time, we would like to pray uh, for the concerns of our brethren. We would like to pray for comfort and peace for the Masangya family, for the passing of Josari Masangya. May the Lord comfort them with His steadfast love at this time of grieving. And may you give them strength, dear Lord, to be able to weather through and knowing that you are the one in control of their lives. May they continue to trust in you, dear Lord, even in this difficult time. 
Lord, we like to pray for uh, sustenance for Frederick Colina as he prepares for his upcoming RPSGT board exam. Lord, as he prepares, may you find favor in what he's doing here, Lord. I pray that uh, you would give him a clear mind, dear Lord, and a sharp memory to be able to pull this through. Let us also pray that God that that God would provide a job opportunity for him. Now for our brothers and sisters who are in the bed of illness, let us pray for Mercy Dita Bautista because she is confined right now in the hospital due to pneumonia, heart ailment, and kidney failure. She has also diabetes, dear Lord, with a lot of complications. So Lord, just touch her body and use the hospital, dear Lord, if you will it, for her betterment. Let's also pray for Lerma Adefuin for the operation of her small intestine and cyst in her pancreas. May God strengthen her body and provide for their medical bills, dear Lord. Let's also pray for the healing of Emma Konanan from a urinary problem. She will have a urethral stent removal and placement this coming Friday. So just superintendent, superintend over the whole process, dear Lord, that it would be successful and uneventful. Also prayers for Angel Montes. She has a trigeminal neuralgia. May God grant her healing and comfort from pain. We also pray for continuous healing for Alvin Alvaran, who is recovering from a hemorrhagic stroke. We also pray for God's provision for daily needs. God, you are the God who would be able to touch his body, dear Lord. On whatever was damaged by the stroke, we know that your hand would be able to heal them, dear Lord, according to your will. We also pray for Luz Payan, the sister-in-law of Linda Gonzalez, for healing from her cancer, dear Lord. It is a difficult situation because of so many complications, but you're the Lord who will be able to give him strength and comfort as she goes through this. Lord, we also pray for the healing of Eileen Morelos from breast cancer and her other health concerns. We pray for Aaron Santa Ana, who is also undergoing chemotherapy for his leukemia. And for the sister of our dear Ate Jessie, Noemilin, take care of Ate Noemilin. May she receive healing, strength, and comfort and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Lord, we pray for our dialysis patients, Cesara, Christian. Have mercy of God. Allow them to just feel well, that they will continue to be strong so that they will be able to withstand, the body will be able to withstand the effects of this, um, of this uh, dialysis that goes on three times at least in a week. May not we also pray for Vida Gufu, suffering from leukemia. Give her strength and give her provision, Lord, so that she may be able to sustain at magtagumpayan itong karamdaman ito. Panginoon, we pray for Ate Salvation Duran, who's suffering for, from Alzheimer's. Panginoon, bigyan mo po siya ng magandang memory. And as it lapses, Panginoon, Allow her to remember you. Allow her to remember all the good things that you have done for her so that your name be proclaimed. We also, Lord, pray for Merli Cabizuelas. Allow her, Lord, to know you deeper, even in her challenging situation. We pray for her healing. We pray for strength that she, her body would withstand, would withstand for me. Panginoon, turuan mo po kami, tulungan mo po kami, laging tumingin sa iyo at manalangin. At this time, we would also like to pray for the ministry partners of the church. 
the Bible, the BSO, Panginoon, na nandito lang sa aming katabi. Lord, would you raise up more youth, more children who will help the next generation of BSO. Allow them to show how Jesus looks like in their culture. Allow them to share your love, O God, so that when they minister to the young children, at the Eskus, Panginoon, they know that you are good and you are a great God because their lives were changed. So Lord, pray for the ministry in Pechayan, yung faith, hope, and love. Allow them to just enjoy this time that they can meet with their God. Pray, Lord, for the 50 children, which means there are 50 families or more who are being ministered by this ministry pray for days and one day. Allow her to recover so that she may continually have the courage, that wisdom, and have that joy to carry on leading FHM. And Father, you raise up more leaders, more workers, more disciples who will walk alongside this youth so that they may be children, they may be youth who love Jesus. In on, alagaan nyo rin po yung mga Musafar girls in Nepal. Salamat po that you have given us that opportunity to see them. By now, many years have passed. We know that they have a better life because you showed us how we can care for these little girls who didn't know how to write, who didn't know how to take a bath during that time. Panginoon, salamat that at this time, they already know hygiene. But more than anything, kilala ka na nila Panginoon. Thank you that because you give us that privilege and so with the other helpmates, ministry partners of Pastor Milan, Panginoon, nakakatulong kami upang mabago ang kinabukasan ng mga batang ito. That they will be better citizens of Nepal that they will be lovers of Jesus in the future as well. Lord, continually protect them. Continually provide for their every need. The prayer namin, Panginoon, is for all these communities that you have given to us. May they see Jesus right there and there. May they encounter you on a daily basis. And for the things that they would ever need as a ministry. You are the God who, whose hands are open. And you are the God who opens our hand so that we can extend love, extend grace, just as you give it to us so generously. Teach us to love these children, to love this youth, and allow us to show and share the love and the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. Minuman salamat for this opportunity. Allow us to always take a step of faith so that they too may know you so intimately. Father, we also pray for our Muslim brothers. Allow them to see Jesus in a way that is so unique. May the testimonies of our friends around them show them the love, the goodness, the grace, and the peace that only Jesus could give. That salvation is only by Jesus Christ alone. And He is the only one who took our sins away at the cross. Allow us to show them. Allow us to share that. Love and production. We know, and we also pray for our outreaches and church planting efforts. Find on Slamet because you have already brought your church to the place we're in. We rejoice at the things that you allow us to to see. That in the bigness of just seeing them, you suddenly lead us to your word and lead us lead our leaders with that conviction that you lead us there 
it is you who brought us pagadian it was you who brought us to nasa it was you who began the work in alfonso and it is you who will carry it through we pray lord for our nasa bubatangas church plan panginoon we commend you Sister, pa- pa- Sister Joe and Pastor Paski, allow them to just embrace this ministry because we know that they love you so much. Give them leaders who will work inside them. May the people that you bring in their midst cause them to, to just be excited. May the people that you bring in their midst give them joy as they carry on the work. the difficult work, the challenging work that you have already started. But we know that you are more than difficult, that the work that you have given us is your work. And binibigyan mo lang kami ng pagkakataon to partner with you. And for that, cause us to be faithful as you cause us to be joyful. We also pray and thank you, God, for the worship service that um, just happened last Sunday sa aming Alfonso Cavite church plan. Lord, I pray Pastor Vince, Joy, Brother Bernie and Mel Carabat, Pastor Parkin and Bernice. Lord, just raise up more workers so that we can all just go together and declare your love and your goodness in the community. I pray that the people that we bring in our midst will continue to know Jesus, to love Jesus, to confide in Jesus and to serve Jesus. And once more, to proclaim your greatness in the community. Panginoon, we also remember um, our GCF South Metro Bacoor. Lord, we pray for Pastor Mike, we pray for Pastor Rex, for young Christine, for Jean, Pastor Sam, O oh God, encourage our friends to hurt them. Allow them all we sense that you are the God who loves them, who cares for them. And we pray blessing upon our before church plan. Church there, O oh God, grow them. Grow your people in the side of God. Allow them to just bring the gospel to the inlands of God. Lord, encourage you to them. Bigay niyo po mga pangangailangan nyo. Allow them to raise up more leaders so the work will always continue as you do. Father, we also remember our friends and ministry partners in GCF South Metro Iloilo. We pray for Pastor Mark, for Mita, Los Angeles. Give Pastor Mark wisdom, boldness, and courage. As he leads this effort. We also, Lord, pray for James Serenio, Ana Marie Braga, Christine Angela Cabrera, Pastor Darcy Malosa, Genevieve Fultan, Pastor Butch Nael, John Carlo Dangan. Lord, thank you because all these names, all these are people who love him and whose sole desire is just to declare your love and your goodness in Eloi. Honor our prayers, dear God, even in the plains and mountains of Pagadian. Panginoon, Ikaw na po ang mag-alaga sa mga tao sa Pagadian. Alam po namin, bago pa kami dumating dyan, nandiyan ka na. You have already started the work and all Pastor jo- Joel and Lani Pitaliano would do is just to carry on what you have begun. And when we go back there, allow us to be great encouragers of this couple so that together we will just experience your goodness in that place. Lord, give us your favor. Give us your grace. Lord, we pray for the least reached people groups and the missionaries working there. Lord, you know that in this least reached people groups uh, there are many people there and there is not one viable Christian church dear Lord that is put up there 
That's why we pray for the hearts of the missionaries that would be able to go there. Lord, we pray for uh, for workers to be raised up there, Lord, to be challenged, to be able to go to these places. Here in the Philippines, dear Lord, um, we recognize that there are 13 leads reached people groups all found in Muslim Mindanao. Lord, we pray for the missionaries that would go there. We pray for their wisdom, dear Lord, and for their safety so that they would be able to uh, penetrate the area, dear Lord, gain the trust of the people and be able to share your word. We pray for courage, dear Lord, in their hearts that they would be able to Boldly proclaim your word, dear Lord, amidst all of the difficulties in those uh, people. We pray for partners, dear Lord, that we have right now in Balabak, dear Lord, in the Molbog tribes, um, in the people working in Davao del Sur, dear Lord, our partner missionaries. May you give them the strength, the wisdom, dear Lord, and the, and the provisions that they need for their daily work. We, Lord, we pray, dear Lord, that through their efforts, local believers, dear Lord, would be raised up and be able to continue the work, dear Lord, in leading and discipling their people. Provide for their needs, dear Lord. Show them that you are a God who provides. Praying that with this provision of food, welfare, well, water, and health care, the unbelievers there would be able to see that you are a God of love and the God who provides. Continue to give them the commitment and the perseverance, dear Lord, in the global church to pray for and support these efforts, dear Lord. A lot of people need this, uh, need this support, but only a few go, dear Lord, and much smaller resources are provided for them. So we just pray for at the churches, dear Lord, they would be able to see their work in the Great Commission. We also pray for peace at this time, dear Lord. Left and right, we could hear stories of war, dear Lord, of conflict in areas of Israel, Lebanon, the Gaza Strip, the ongoing conflict in Russia and Ukraine, in Myanmar, in Sudan, in all countries, dear Lord but they're still facing wars. Lord, we pray that you would provide peace, dear Lord, in the hearts of the people. Give them that openness in mind and heart to be able to sit down and discuss and provide solutions, dear Lord, for them. And we pray, dear Lord, that uh, you would be able to manifest them so that they would be able to see you, dear Lord, amidst all of this. We pray for the missionaries who are there. We pray for their safety, dear Lord, and their well-being, that they would be able still to boldly proclaim your word and minister to your, to the people there, dear Lord, amidst all of the difficulties, dear Lord, and the dangers that they would face. We pray for strength, wisdom, and protection for volunteers, the humanitarian workers, dear Lord, and the displaced families. So, dear Lord, we just pray, put everything at the feet of your cross, dear Lord, knowing that all of this, dear Lord, uh, uh, you would be able to resolve. We know that as the end times would come, there would be more and more conflicts. But we just pray, dear Lord, that amidst all of these difficulties, your name and your gospel, dear Lord, would be spread. Lord, we are now facing a natural calamity in our country. So we just pray, dear Lord, that you would keep us and Save us, dear Lord. Keep us safe, dear Lord. And for those people who are affected, may your hand of mercy and provision be upon them, dear Lord. We pray. Right now, we just commit to you, the preachers. Lord, we pray for every church, every Christian church. For all ministers of the gospel who are preparing for you, Lord, the delivered to you, give them the unction of the spirit, give them joy, give them the time to prepare so that your name be exalted 
in the faithful preaching and teaching of your word. We pray for Pastor Nicolo as he shares God's word to us here on Sunday. May the word of God be planted in our hearts and minds as we press on living out our Christian life. Speak to us, dear God, through your word and cause transformation in our lives. We commit to you, Pastor Nicolo, and the rest of his family. We lift them up as they come here safely. Allow them to just have a good time of preparation. Give us a good time of ministering to one another, bringing encouragement and joy in the midst of all this. Thank you, dear God, because you are the God who not only listens to us, but you, Jesus, intercede for us. You, Jesus, are the one who reconciled us to yourself. And thank you that even before we bring all this to you, you already know. Thank you for teaching us dependence on you, trust in you, faith in you. Because we know that you are good, you are great, and your will is perfect and peaceable. May our hearts and minds be focused on you, especially in these challenging times, especially in this windy night. But we know that when we are in the center of your will, there is peace. May the God of peace reign in our hearts. Lord, take care of all of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Magandang gabi po muli sa ating lahat. At kung meron pa po sa inyong gustong manalangin, you just let us know. Doon po na sa ating Facebook. Type nyo po, we are continuing to pray. We will continue to pray for our countrymen. For everyone, Panginoon, tulungan po kami so that we can minister to one another in this very special time. Nagpapaalam na po kami. Until next Wednesday. God bless you. And don't forget, this recorded uh, version sa Facebook shall also be posted sa ating YouTube so you can show, you can share. Good night, everyone.